Good evening everybody, how are you? It's uh, Thursday, it's the 19th, no, 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 it's not, yes it is, it's the 19th of March, and uh, here we go, we've changed it, it's not going to be a wee rambling anymore, it's going to be called a Bobcast, so this is the first sort of official Bobcast, and uh, yeah, there we go, <laughs> what can I say, what can I say, there's nothing punny about that whatsoever. So it's been another one of those interesting days with some good moments and some sad moments and uh, some positive moments and some reflective moments and having to think moments. All those things that are in there. You can hear Isla in the background. She's not impressed with all this podcasting. Doesn't like it at all, she tells me. Bobcasting, why, why am I calling it podcasting? Bobcasting. And uh, she's sleeping, but she had a good run around the park this morning, so that's a bit better change my glasses that's the excitement of the day can you see but the problem is that these ones I was a bit mean when I was buying them and I didn't have the non-reflective coating put on them yeah you see it was difficult because uh, I went to a local optician and I couldn't get what I wanted and someone said have you tried boots and I said well I have but they keep falling off my face so um, so I went to a different optician to see what I could save I should have gone to Specsavers I think so there's a reflection on here. Maybe I'll take them off. Is that better? You don't see me very often with my glasses off. And actually, looking at myself now, well, it doesn't matter. I can't see a thing. Not, not a sausage roll. Except these red bits. I wish they'd go away. It's as if I drink gallons and gallons of port. If only any port in a storm. Anyhow, right. So there's been a lot going on today, of course, hasn't there? And, uh, you know, I'm a bit shocked still about what goes on in the supermarkets. And uh, I said yesterday, I think in my in my Bobcast, that uh, you know I was I was just amazed how the the shelves have been cleared. But someone said a really interesting thing to me yesterday, which really stuck. They said, you know, it's going to be the rich and the fast runners who survive. The poor and the slow will not survive. That's quite scary, isn't it? Actually, do I, I feel, you know, when I smile, I feel a bit like a Wallace and Gromit. You know the thing? Eee, thing I mean, gosh, I must get my teeth done. If anyone's got a spare, a spare hundred grand, could you let me have it, please? And I'll just go and get, get a few implants, get those old toothy pegs sorted out. So, uh, the coronavirus, well, it's just going on and on, isn't it? And all the things. Um, quite positive stuff coming out from the... From the um, Prime Minister's news conference this evening and uh, let's hope we can stick to that it's not easy though nightmare I'm on day three and I'm already stir crazy wondering what I'm going to do gonna have to have a, a right good sort out I think that's always the best thing to do get myself sorted get the get the study tidied but thank you to those of you who are saying what a nice tidy study two lovely chairs behind me and uh, very comfy when people come round so uh so yeah, now then, um, actually, I used to, I was reflecting back on my previous life. I used to have a job, you know, in a helium gas factory, but I just left. I couldn't cope with people speaking to me constantly in that tone of voice, and I uh, thought I better get away from it. But you know, this thing about the um, the rich and the fast runners getting there. Um, there's a lot of talk going on at the moment about food banks. There's been some prayerfulness today at nine o'clock. And the Pope asked us all to, to pray at the same time. Um, there's been some good things going on as well, and uh, but but also some tough things and and everything. And uh, I've got another little joke tie written down here, but I cannot remember which one it was. There's just something, just something. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Did you hear about the mathematician that turned off the heating in his home? He then said he could be cold and calculating. Right, I think that's about it. The dogs don't seem any more impressed. I'm enjoying a cup of coffee. Hmm. I like a good joke in a mug, don't you? Who am I calling myself a mug? Am I really calling myself a mug? No, I can't be. Right, okay. Oh, gosh, a news flash just coming in. Two Eskimos were sitting in a kayak, apparently, and they were very chilly. So they lit a fire in the in the craft. Unsurprisingly, you know, it sank, proving once again that you can't have your kayak and heat it 
as well. Take care, God bless you. I'll speak to you tomorrow if you like it. And uh, leave me a comment. Thank you to all of those who have. It's really good fun. Okay, see ya. Bye. I do love that Wallace and Gromit, don't I? Is it Wallace really? Is it Gromit? Does it matter? No, it does. Hmm.